Here's some mistakes you might be making in Scratch. I use my blocks a lot, and sometimes a simple my block completely lags all the project. Why is that? You see, if you tick the box that says run without screen refresh, it makes everything in the my block run as fast as possible in one frame. So if you were to have a custom block that has a loop that never ends or wait blocks, don't use the run without screen refresh, or else you'll have lots of lag. Have you ever worked on a project, broke something, and just wish you could go back? Well, I can actually do this by saving the project to your computer and loading it into your main project. Or if it's something small, like accidentally deleting a script, you can try right-clicking and clicking on undo, or using Ctrl Z. This simple habit can save you so much time. The main menu is one of the first things that a player playing your game will see. And even though it may not be the most fun part of making games, it's important to make sure that your main menu looks as good as possible. And if you get stuck for ideas, you can always Google some examples. For more details on how to make your scratch buttons look better, you can check out this video. Don't share your scratch game, or at least be sure that your thumbnail looks good before sharing. While you can't directly add a thumbnail into scratch, there's a way you can actually choose to have a custom thumbnail. You see, a project's thumbnail is actually just the last point the project was saved. So if you have a thumbnail sprite, you can have it be shown, then save the project there, and the thumbnail will be set. I like to use this script to have the project's thumbnail fade out at the start of a project. That way I can easily set the thumbnail by just starting the project, stopping before it fully fades and saving. While some bugs are funny, some bugs can be very frustrating to deal with in a game. So it's important to do some bug testing before you share slash update your game. Play it a few times, even try to break the game on purpose and fix it when necessary. Even though you won't be able to make your game 100% bug free, simple bug fixing can go a long way. Speaking of testing, you should also test the gameplay itself. Is there a level that's really difficult, or is a puzzle that is too hard? It's important to think from the perspective of a new player and see if you can play the game properly without developer knowledge. You can also get a friend or someone in the massive Scratch community to help you. Even then, explaining games can be difficult, so I would highly recommend checking out some game dev channels if you need some more in-depth explanations. And with that, I think you'll like this video about the best Scratch hacks. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time.